Today, I will be mostly cooking dead animals. Now <laughs> <laughs> ramblers, check me out. Fresh back from Vabatoir. Yeah, straight back with three dead animals. Oh, 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 it's a proper winter warmer. So yeah, welcome aboard. <laughs> I'll tell you the recipe. You take three dead animals, you cut them up, you lightly fry them off, and then you lob them in crock pot for about, I don't know, Best part of a day, best part of a day, I think. Anyway, your seasoning, okay? Chop your meat up and let me run the seasoning by you. Here's a picture of it. Yep, yeah, you got it? You can see there's a little bit going on in there, can't you? That is plain flour, crushed chilies, Italian herbs, yeah, yeah. Um, chili powder. Strength is up to you. I like it with a bit of a kick to it. Uh, I've got a little bit of turmeric in, mainly for the colouring. <laughs> um, I do like smoky mm -mm 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 -mm, paprika. Um, and then a little bit of Susie salt and Percy pepper. Yeah. And then what we're going to do, which I'll show you in a sec, we're going to sear it off in a glaze of sherry yeah uh, i do i do really really enjoy cooking because um as you as you know um in my everyday life i have such a, a high pressure job you know am i gonna remember the words are people gonna like me do i give a fuck yeah it's it's it really is constant pressure anyway come on Let's crack on with awful. <laughs> Wee! Shut up! Wee! Yo! Welcome back! Uh, so like I said, it's um, it's basically it's the organs uh, of three dead animals. <laughs> and it's full of absolute protein goodness. It's a real winter warmer. And you won't find this in any of your bloody swanky restaurants, you know what I mean? No, no, no. This is proper rustic cooking, like the shepherds used to do in the hills of Andalusia. Yeah, they used to chop pigs up and lambs and bloody oxes and calves. And then lob it all in a fucking pot over the fire, chow down for the rest of the winter. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, let me just show you this because I've left it marinating overnight to really, to really get all of the ingredients, the base ingredients, to sink in. So have a look at this. Are you ready? This is wonderful. Look at that. You've got lamb's liver, pig's liver. Ox's heart, ox's kidney, pig's lung, I think there's a lung in there, there's a lung or two. Um, and it's just, there's six different cuts of meat. And it really is. Oh. <laughs> it really is. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and then I'll show you what I'm going to add to it in a bit. But we need to sear the meat off. All right, just to so it it keeps all of those ingredients together and and seals them in. Yeah, fucking love cooking. I don't know what I'm doing at any point, but I just like doing it. Yeah, and the good thing is it's not edible for anybody else apart from the other mash because he'll eat any old shit. I think it must be a mash thing. Anyway, let's get searing. <laughs> Alrighty, so in the pan, I've used 
uh, HBC have is Bristol Cream. Oh, only the finest. <clears throat> a little bit I've got left, the trout juice. So I put some Harvey's Bristol Cream Sherry in there. And as you can see, look. Look. There's a knob of Kerrygold. You've got to make a bit of garlic butter in there, haven't you? So, yeah, let's just let that, um, let's let that cook up for a second. We don't want it too hot. Okay, we really are just searing it. Okay. So, stick with us a second. But look at it. Look at it, what's not to like? Hey, and all of those, I've got six packets, as I showed you. Six packets of various organs. Nine pounds and a 99. And that's gonna probably get about, I would think I'll get six or seven meals out of that. Once I've ploughed all the other shit in with it. Oh, sizzle, sizzle. Catch you in a jizzle. Right, here's another thing I like to do. Hands washed, let's get into this. Oh, let's, uh, how can we do it? I like to, I like to feel the meat. Look at that, can you hear it? Listen to that. Oh, and let's just, just get it in there. Just really get it in there. I like, uh, the other thing I like about cooking is the tactileness. I'm never happier than when I'm browning mints. Oh yeah. So get, I'm going to put half of it in. Let's scoop it in there. Beautiful. Look at that. And then we're going to bring it up to the boil. We're going to, we're going to force a bit of sizzle on. Right, that's roughly about half. Let's turn that up. Go give the hands a quick wash because you know what I mean? You can't go hurt, hurt. Leave that with you a sec. You'll always find me in the kitchen at parties. Okay, we just need to turn it over a little bit. Turn the heat up. That's lovely. And what you're looking for, really, is just a little bit of browning on the sides of the, uh, of the organs. <laughs> There's a sentence you don't hear every day. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much the searing process. So, let me crack on with this, because I've got a shitload to do. And I'll be back in a minute. Grab yourself a drink. You'll all be back at this soon. Chef's treat. Right. Roll on Christmas. So, that, let me show you, is, look at that now. Look at my browned meat. Good chunks there, look at that. Great big piece of bloody bread or whatever. It looks awful, doesn't it? <clears throat> that's because that's what it is. So we've done that. Come back. Three, two, one, back in the room. Yeah, so that's the, um, that's the meat done. Can still hear it. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, you see, I don't view this really as cooking. I view this as freestyle alchemy. Yeah, I'm just making shit up. And I've done this recipe, variations on a theme. Many, many, many times. And it is. It is just, it's a proper winter treat. Bang them in the freezer, drag one out when you want to treat yourself. You know, when you say, had a good night, vocal stylizing to three people, pouring your heart out. And you get home and you think, what was the fucking point in that? I know what I'll have. I'll have the three dead animal delicacy. <laughs> so what do you add to the meat? I hear you ask. Well, I'll bloody well tell you. We've got potatoes. We've got red kidney beans. You know, the ones you bang in chilli. They're nice. We've got marrow fat 
peas. Not cheesy peas. No, no, no. Chunky chopped tomatoes, which is a nice thing to even say. Chunky chopped tomatoes. We've got, I do like these, butter beans. Alrighty, the recipe isn't complete without your butter beans. Uh, and then you chuck in stuff like bird's eye chilies. I'm going to chop them up in a bit. I've got chestnut mushrooms because I really think it does enhance the flavour with the, the nutty chestnuts. Yeah, yeah. You could use shit ache, but I don't like the sound of them, to be honest. So there's the chestnuts. Don't put them on until it's been cooking for fucking ages. Because they're just, they're mulch. Uh, enough shit going on in there without some more, isn't there? And then, bag of shallots, okay? They're shallots. British shallots. Best of British, sir. Uh, sorry, what was that? What stock do I use? Thanks for asking. I use these. I use red wine stock cubes because... Um, they're, they're a far more um, intense flavour and if I had red wine I'd just drink the bastard so I wouldn't have any stock would I? Uh, so I use two of those, put them in a jug, put some hot water in it and also add to it one of these which cleverly they put a picture of a beer stub so you know it's beer and that's pretty much it there isn't a lot of cooking involved because your shallots and your chestnut mushrooms, you got everything in the tins. You just lob the fuckers in. So I'm going to go do that now. Again, back in two minutes. Grab your centre drink or go puke up. <laughs> what you got them on for, Mash? Good question, I'll tell you why. Because look at these beasts. Bird's eye chilies, yeah, I've got to cut them up, and you don't want to get them under your fingers, no, 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 oh, if you catch them under your fingers, out you touch, your nose, your face, your eyes, your jack's eye, whatever, you're going to be in pain for a considerable amount of time, so, I can only find one latex glove, so I used a marigold, so I'll be able to hold with the marigold, and cut with the latex. Brilliant genius, isn't it? Again, mix shit up. Alchemy. Ta -da. Right, we're about three quarters done. So, just to recap brown your meat, chuck the shit in, cut all the other stuff up that's too chunky, and then this bit. That's your stock. Okay, so the stock, oh look at it all, oh, look at it, the colours, it's just, it's happening isn't it, it looks good enough to eat, even like that, you wait till it's, the gravy's thickened up, right let's get this in, remember, two red wine cubes, one beef, and you want to be really just up to not quite covering your meat, <laughs> I do love that word meat. So we're going to save a bit of that stock for a bit later, but uh, I need to pop this down for a sec. Bear with me. Because um, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you're thinking uh, there's not a lot of cooking going on, Mash. Why are you wearing an apron? Well, I'll tell you for why. Because unbeknown to you, for about the last... 15, say 16 years, every Thursday, I like to don a tabard and be known as Chloe. Yeah, and I do a few chores around the house and stuff, so uh, it just gets me in touch with me, uh, me, uh, oh, with me feminine side. It's quite happy. So yeah, if ever you uh, want to give me a buzz on a Thursday, don't ask if Mash is in. Say, Hello, can I speak to Chloe? And I'm on you. All over it. Anyway, I need to go give that a stir back in a minute again. Ta-da! Oh, hello. 
up in Chloe on a Thursday. I'm always mush every other day of the week. But on Thursday, 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 I'm Chloe. <laughs> Just made that up. Lyrical genius. Three, two, one, back in the room. Right, stock done. So that's pretty much it. It does resemble a beef bourguignon. Uh, but again, it's three dead animal offal. But it is sensational when it's done. So uh, we're going to bang the lid on. Uh, the last thing that I will be putting in a bit later will be a little bit more chilli powder, I would imagine. And the chestnut mushrooms, lastly. So, thanks for watching. Um, just leaves me to say, tonic bloody round. They're not going to see you there, are they? No. Yeah. Just leaves me to say that um, I've enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope that um, you do go to your local butchers or the best place I got all that meat for 9 pounds Six packets. Six packets of dead animal for 9 99 That's a bargain. You can't even get a whore on West Street for that. Apparently. I don't know. But uh, the next port of call will be... Uh, I'm, I'm going to nip off out. This is a tip for you. When you've made a right fucking mess in the kitchen and you can't face clearing it up, if you go out for a couple of hours, it's weird. This always happens. You come back and the magic kitchen fairy has cleaned it all up, yeah? And I, I caught her once and I think her name is Rachel. Yeah, she's the magic kitchen fairy. So catch you for the tasting in about, what are you looking at that for you? And I'm gonna watch you by me bastard. In about, fucking hell, tomorrow. <laughs> See you later, ta -da! Right, this is difficult. Pig's kidneys. So you have to splice them in half and you've got to get all of that sinew and shit out. Uh, and you should end up with something like that. Yeah, so you've got six lots of organ in there. But top tip for you, look, when you use these packets, that's all ready for waste. Don't forget, keep the blood. All right, bang it in. That is full of flavour and protein and shit. So I better get on with the devil in the kidneys. Back in a bit. It's been cooking for hours and hours. I added some uh, Worcester sauce, yeah, because I didn't have any Henderson's and I'm not from fucking Sheffield. So I put uh, Worcestershire in uh, and a little bit of uh, Marks and Spencer's brown sauce because I didn't have any daddies. All right, come on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Come on. <laughs> have a listen. Oi, oi. Still hear it grunting and shit. It's full of goodness. Come on. It's so difficult. I don't know how Gordon Ramsay and that uh, Gino de Camper van. I don't know how they get the camera angles and shit. I think they have a camera crew with them. Anyway, the big reveal. Come on. Are you ready? Oh my word. Oh my word. I've got to take this off here. Check this out. Look at her, that. You tell me that does not look magnificent. Let's get a spoon, give her a bit of a stir. Come on. So look. Look at all those. Oh, look, we're steaming up. We're steaming up. 
Look at all that. Potatoes, all the beans, the shallots. Look at that, look at that bit there. Look. That's a bloody lung. <laughs> right, give it a stir. And then the proof, as they say, is in the pudding. So, let's just leave that there a sec. Back in a moment. Finally, let's get to the tasting. We'll try a bit of dew first, or gravy. Northern boys love gravy. Bit of gravy. That is superb. So rich. You can taste within it the chilli that I put in. The little bit of paprika, you remember that at the top of the show? Yeah. All right, what do we go for? Should we have a bit of heart? Should we have a bit of uh, lung? Should we, have, should we have a bit of liver? Or should we just go for ass? I don't know. Let's take a look at it and see what comes up. Yeah. Hard to tell what it is, really. What do you reckon? I don't know. Let's give it a go. That was liver. Wow. Right. This ain't. Mmm. Mmm. Bit of ox. <laughs> oh. Seriously, wish you could taste this. And you can do a vegetarian option, which is basically potatoes and red wine. Why the fuck would you? When you can lob all that in and have six or seven meals of hearty goodness. Oh, just a bit more of that gravy, please. Wow, wow, wow. I am a wizard. Yeah? So thanks for that. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, you're probably into, I don't know, um, Big Brother or um, any of that other reality or unreality, unrealistic shite. Anyway, that's the first of many cookery shows that I think I'm going to do. So tune in again soon where I might do um, Beef Biscuit in Bookfast. <laughs> that would work. Yeah, beef brisket in Bookfast. Or I could do steak special brew. Where I can mix my favourite meat and my favourite tram juice. Oh, so hey, thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, catch you later. Get your zen cooking. Go on, go get some offal and some beast. Ta-da!